Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the ScareCorp channel. Today I would like to show you how to do parental control on your new Nexus 7 tablet running 4.3 Jelly Bean. Let's take a look. Alright, so this is the new Nexus 7 2013 edition. I just got it the other day. So first I'll show you that I have about two and a half pages of apps so far and growing every day. But what I want to do is set up parental control so that my kids only get some of these apps. Mostly just the games and maybe the gallery. So first thing you want to do is go into your settings menu and then you have your users tab. So click on that and here where you can do restricted profiles also known as parental control so you have yourself and then you can also make other users or other profiles so if you click on this other one that I already made so if you just click on you can actually make the profile there or if you already made it there like myself here's where you control what they can see so first off, let's click on the user itself. So here's the name of the user that you want to do. And also, you can click on the picture here to take a photo and choose from a gallery what photo is going to show up for their username. Okay, so pretty straightforward. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to give them access to most of the stuff. Actually, Angry Birds, I do and just mostly all the games you know the calculator they don't really need calendar they don't need I'm, I am going to give them the camera so the zombies game I don't want them playing that also dead trigger I don't want them playing that Google Earth Sky actually Google Earth I will give them that SkyDrive uh, sorry uh, Google Drive Facebook Flickr all of that kind of stuff I don't want to give them gallery I will give them email I won't Again, some games, Instagram I won't, maps I can. Netflix, I do want them to watch their kids shows on here, so I will give them that. And some more games here, including YouTube and the app Zedge, which they can download some wallpapers for their screens. Okay, so once that is all done, you can just go back to the main menu pull down the settings and click on your profile this will log you out and now you will see that there's two icons here for the users myself and the other one so the one quick note that I will give you here is that to be able to do all of this you need to set up a password some sort of a password authentication for your main account otherwise there's no point in doing the parental control as they could just um, you know click on your account and get into it so there's the their account and of course it's unlocked and they can get into it right away so here I've set up their favorite games on the desktop also if you go to the apps you will see that there's only one page of apps available to them so if you want to drag a new one and then just be able to put that there somewhere that's cool okay and I am missing one angry birds oops sorry about that Alright, that was just a quick how-to. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know down below. I try to get to most of the comments that you guys put out, so if you have something to say, I will read it. Don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. I do post there daily, so check that out. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get the videos as soon as they come out. Well, guys, that is it for my time, and as always, I do appreciate yours. Have a good one. See you in my next video.